I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. My beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Cancer. So if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, Cancer, right? Um, as well, if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you, Cancer, in this tarot reading, I'd really appreciate it for you to take the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe as well, Cancer, because it does help, out, help out my tarot channel a lot and I always appreciate it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel tarot, tarot channel tarot channel in that way cancer uh so but before we get into this reading for you your weekly general tarot reading cancer I do want to say that I don't feel like any type of tarot reading any tarot card should be making decisions in your life because I feel like it's your life to live not my not me not these tarot cards not any tarot reader that you receive a reading from I feel as if tarot cards should be here to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to consider in your life but never making the decision or a choice in your life right so now that I've said all of that, my beautiful Cancer, and hopefully I didn't trip over my words too much for you, let's now get into your weekly general tarot reading, Cancer. And uh, to start this out, I want to get into your animal oracle card. Uh, we have the honeybee card coming in for you. Now the honeybee card is a card that says let your let compassion, forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. So. Right off the bat, uh, Cancer, we have an energy here where Spirit is really trying to ask you to, there's something going on in your life that is asking you to um, have a little bit more of a lighter view on it. So let's get a little bit of insight on that, actually. Let's figure out why and see if we can get any detail, um, Cancer, on what, what it is that you need to have a little bit more of a softer less critical view on. Let's see. Okay, so this is definitely speaking of some type of person in your life here, uh, Cancer. So the clarifiers that we have for your honeybee card, Cancer, is the Knight of Swords coming in for you. We also have the Ace of Cups coming in for you, as well as the Three of Cups coming in for you, Cancer. So with these three cards, this is spelling out to me something, pro some, it's kind of speaking on some type of group aspect, right? I feel like it's not just like a one-on-one -on -one type of situation. Um, I feel like there's more parties involved or more, more it's not just like a one-on-one -on -one conversation, <laughs> basically. I feel like um, it could be a group of people, could be like in a work environment or an environment where other people are like maybe not directly involved, but in some type of way are. Now, with this Ace of Cups and this Knight of Swords coming in here, I feel like there's the, the, this fear or like this level of um, fear in the sense or just like this level of misunderstanding of someone's intentions, right? With this Knight of Swords and this Ace of Cups. Um, I don't know if you yourself, Cancer, are not feeling like you can be yourself with some type of situation or with some group of people, or if you are trying, to, or if you did try to open up to some type of people, to a group of people, Cancer, and maybe they just didn't understand you, uh, right? Because I feel like there's on some level, I don't, I feel like there's some type of communication not being like, Everyone trying to communicate from like a different point of view or a different wavelength, essentially. And because of this, like misunderstandings are happening or just like, I don't know, it's, you can't help but feel like there's some type of social situation where a more honest conversation or a more transparent conversation needs to happen, Cancer. And we get into your get into your objective card for this week. So the card that is the energy that you're going to be put into this week and you're going to be exuding throughout like the everyday events that you deal with in your life this week, Cancer. And you guys actually got the lover's card. So I do feel like this is a week where you're definitely dealing with some type of intimate situation in your life. So what I mean by intimate is just like a situation that you care closely about, that you hold closely in your heart. 
Cancer. Um, you are definitely in this place of um, trying to have like a better understanding of it. Trying to have a better understanding of some type of situation in your life or trying to... Um, well, let's see here. Let's get a little bit more... I feel like it's kind of correlated with your honeybee card. That's why I kind of want a little bit more insight on this, Cancer, because I feel like it's this lovers is directly correlated with this message. So let's see here. Let's see what clarifiers that we have going on for your lovers card. We have five of cups coming in for you. We have the temperance card. Yeah, temperance card coming in for you, Cancer. And then we have the Ace of Swords coming in for you. Now, I don't retell you whether it's inverted or not, Cancer, just because it's all intuitive and I don't feel like I need to complicate the extra details on things that hold no bearing to you <laughs> in the message, since I'm just speaking what I see in the cards anyways, right? So that's why you'll see some of the cards just being reversed or not, and I never will mention which ones are and which ones aren't, just because it's all going up in my head. So... Uh, with these clarifiers of your lover's card, um, Cancer, this is, you know, and you actually have the Ace of Swords in your spread um, lower uh, later on in your reading, which we'll get into as well. So you have Ace of Swords that can't have so, has so far come out twice for you in your reading. So this is definitely letting me know, Cancer, you're in this, this is a week of where a lot of things are like, a lot of things are like cooking for you cancer a lot of things are clicking for you or a lot of contemplation on like how you want to approach a situation or how you want to approach a person um this is definitely something cancer that i'm getting where i don't know i'm seeing like an individual which i'm assuming it's you cancer um i'm seeing an individual that's just like running thoughts back and forth with themselves. I see someone like pacing a room somewhere and they're just like talking to themselves and trying to um, be like, okay, like figuring out like a game plan. So it's just like, I can't help but feel like for some of you cancers, like it's, I'm gonna speak in, in terms of simplicity for the message, this weekly message. Cancer, I'm gonna speak in terms of a person, but it doesn't have to be a person, but the, just, you know, roll with me here. Um, just to get at the message of the cards themselves and the meanings of them. Um, with this type of dynamic, Cancer, it's letting me know you're like you're wanting to, you're contemplating on figuring out how, like your game plan of how you're going to approach and speak to a certain someone in your life. Now, I don't know with this Five of Cups. I don't know if you are in speaking terms with them, and if you, I don't know if you are or not. But I can't help but feel like with this Five of Cups here that you guys are not quite in like the best of terms. I just knocked my camera, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't feel like you guys are in the best of terms, Cancer. I do feel like there is some type of like, um, what is it? Distance, but rift. There's some type of rift in between y'all two, Cancer. And so with this type of dynamic with the Ace of Swords and then the Temperance card, I feel like this has been going on for, like, this rift has been going on for a while. Like, it's existed for a while. And this Ace of Swords is just kind of like, you're in this place, Cancer, you're just like, well, what's the next move here? Well, how do I handle this situation from here when it comes to this person, when it comes to this thing that I care a lot about? And then this is where you get into your introspective state. Cancer, this is where we talk about this Hermit card, right? The Hermit card is all about self-reflection. This is the journey that you're on this week of really trying to figure out. It's just like, okay, how do I approach this person? I have all these different ideas on what I should do with this person, but what is the right thing to do, right? So let's put some clarification on this. We have, okay, I'm getting for your, so jumbling my words again, Cancer. So for your Hermit card, the clarifiers that we have for it is the Six of Pentacles for you, Cancer. We also have the Fool card coming out for you as well. And then we have the Magician card. Wow. Magician card coming out for you, Cancer. So with this, time, a lot of major arcana. So just as like a, you know, there are certain signs you look for in tarot, like certain things that symbolize when they come up repeatedly, like tens talk about closures of cycles, pages talk about, talks about um, beginnings, right? When you see multiple aces, um, it's usually like an affirmative sign of going forward with something. Um, and so when you see a lot of major arcana, 
because major arcana usually talks about like the big flashy events in your life when you see a bunch of major arcana it lets you know of kind of like the severity or like the weight or like just the importance that it has in your life right now and so for me to see all these big uh major arcana cards cancer this lets me know like how much one how much you care about the situation but also as well like i feel like if this whatever this situation is it really makes a huge impact in your life like it's so i heard like like you feel like you have to like tread carefully because it's like I don't know if you feel like you have to walk on eggshells with this person or with some type of situation in your life, Cancer, or um, you're walking on eggshells or it's like risky in the sense that like this could like make or break and ha make or completely drastically change your life in some way. I know that sounds so ridiculous, Cancer, but depending on how you communicate with this person, it's like you're at a fork in the road. That's a better way to put it. Fork in the road, and it's just like how you communicate with this person, your life is going to be greatly different one way or another, and it's going to look very differently. Like each of the, like whatever path, it's a very different path from the other one. Does that make sense? So, getting into these cards now, <laughs> Cancer. With this dynamic, this is kind of a, uh, sense of i'm gonna be honest here cancer i feel like if this is if you are going to if you really want something to be part of your life that you've been contemplating cancer especially if it's a person i feel like you're gonna have to really throw yourself in there i don't feel like this is something that's going to be necessarily easy for you to do but i feel like if you really actually want it then you can accomplish it Right, with the Six of Pentacles here, I feel like this is going to be something that you would have to sink a lot of energy into. And I'm going to be honest here, this is not something that, like, you just start the motion of it and then, like, the universe or energy just carries on with it, takes it from there, right? No, this is something that you have to, like, consciously wake up every single day, cancer, and really be, like, really waking up every single morning, early in the morning, and just getting right to work, right? Right to work in the sense of like putting en more energy into this, even if you're not getting any type of payout immediately, right? Because with this Fool and the Magician card, this is an energy of where it's just like you're continuing feeding energy, you're continuing creating in something that you have a vision for, right? So this is being like, this is an energy of a lot of persistency. I feel like persistency is going to be something that greatly rewards you during this week, Cancer. More so than just this week, I feel like this just persistency in of itself is a key factor for you, Cancer. Dare I say this is kind of like the challenge or the, like the lesson for some of you Cancers is for you to learn how to be more persistent. Um, that is something that came through. Yeah, and these two cards coming in as well confirms this message from Spirit as well. So, yeah, it's, it's almost like consistency and perseverance. You actually maintaining with something for a long period of time, Cancer. I feel like this has been like a struggle, honestly, for some of you Cancers. And this is like the test for it. It's just like, do you really want this, Cancer? Let's see if you really do. Let's see if you're actually going to... Um, keep up with this you know is are you going to just like be motivated for the first couple of weeks and then it's just going to water down um like it like you sometimes experience with certain things in your life cancer or are you going to finally overcome this struggle of yours this obstacle of yours heal from it and really start like the next phase of your life start like the next lesson um but i do feel like that's like the main thing for you is like that's like the lesson involved is um seeing if you will actually um, be persistent with something. Okay, so I feel like that's going to be the challenge for you. So now, Ace of Swords, being persistent towards these ideas with the with these thoughts that you're having, right? So let's get some insight on this. I have like this burp trying to come out, <laughs> Cancer. So if you notice me just like positioning weird and also just like making weird faces, is me trying to not just like belch in front of y'all in the middle of a reading. <laughs> So let's see the clarifiers that we have. I'm just hit my table that we have for your Ace of Swords now, Cancer. So the cards that we have for you, we have the Seven of Pentacles coming in. We have the Queen of Cups coming in for you as well, Cancer. 
And then we have, oh, I didn't know we had this many. We have the Hanged Man coming in, as well as the Four of Cups Cancer. So, with these new ideas that the Ace of Swords keeps coming, following you about, like, this really lets me know, like, your thoughts. Like, Cancer, it's one of those things where it's just like you have like these good ideas but you don't put any energy any energy or effort into them so it's like you may have like a bunch of million dollar ideas these million dollar inventions but it serves no purpose if you don't actually commit to trying to bring them to life does that make sense and so when are you going to stop just thinking about it and actually start taking action uh with the four of cups this is kind of like being where it's just like okay like you can have these thoughts you can have these ideas but you know when are you going when are you going to start moving cancer right when are you going to decide to get up from the couch and be like all right let me attack this plant let me actually start um planting these seeds putting in the work right um when you plant like an apple tree or an apple seed right or an avocado tree i always like to say when you plant avocados you are planting avocados knowing for a fact you're not going to get instant gratification, honey. Right, Cancer? An avocado tree, I believe it says, they say it was like 20 years or something like that. Uh, it takes for like an avocado tree uh, to like bear fruit, right? So it's just like when you plant an avocado tree, honey, you're doing it for the long haul. You're not doing it for that instant gratification. And so I feel like it's important for you, Cancers, to remind yourself of this um, while you go through this journey so you don't demotivate yourself. Queen of Cups and then the Hanged Man comes in. This is what it is. You need to just commit, um, Cancer. The commit, commit, commit is something I'm just keep uh, that I consistently am hearing, uh, Cancer. I <sighs> I can't help but feel like Cancer. Once you actually commit to something, and I know it sounds vague, but I just can't help but feel like you'd be pleasantly surprised should you actually just. Even just, if not just with this situation, because I do, again, feel like it's all encompassing for you, Cancer. I do feel like you'd just be pleasantly surprised if you just, like, committed to just want any one thing. Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Lover's Card following you. <laughs> yeah, so, Cancer, you just need to commit to something. You need to f just commit, invest your Pentacles into something, and that's when you just start, you know, like... <laughs> Cancer, I'm going to just wrap up this part of it because I feel like you guys don't need to hear the repetitive message in that. But with this Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Lover's card, you kind of just need to make a decision. You need to make a decision on something and just going, once you make the decision, be at peace with it and commit to that decision. Um, and so with this type of dynamic, I'm like re looking into this. I'm just like, okay, well, well, you have to read in between the lines with tarot. Right, Cancer? So it's just like if you're being pushed to make commit to something, it's almost just like spirit wants to like give you something, Cancer, but you're not giving them much of like much room to work with, right? To bring forth something into your life because you're not committing. So enough of that, right? How many times can I say commit? Cancer, let's talk about this nine of cups here for you. Let's deep dive with this. See what's going on here. What clarifiers can we get? The clarifiers instantly come out. So for your Nine of Cups, Cancer, we have the Ten of Pentacles for you. We have the Four of Swords for you. Is this the Four of Swords? No, this is Six of Swords, honey. Six of Swords for you. And then we have the Devil card coming in for you, Cancer. So for this coming in as your clarifier for your Nine of Cups, this is letting me know you're finally putting away, putting distance between your bad habits, right? Your devil, Cancer. So for many of you guys, this is like your path. This would be um, you constantly being at and in, being indecisive in your life, or this would be like you, uh, your habits really not being conducive for your future, right? Maybe you've wasted a lot of time, Cancer, or maybe you. Um, haven't been eating like the right foods or just you haven't been doing things that have been trying to assist you and elevate you on your path you just kind of been just biding your time almost right you're putting distance finally between you and those bad habits between you and those like this issue here whatever that is for you cancer and it's because of that 
That's when you have your nine of cups, ten of pentacles. That's when things just start working out for you. you your life becomes more stable. Um, emotional needs start feeling met as well. You might finally, finally start overcoming some levels of depression. I'm hearing cancer. You know, definitely clean your house, clean your room is something that I just hear as well. Y'all didn't come here to be told to clean your room like I'm your parent. But um, I definitely am like feel the need to like just let you know cancer like if your environment if your current environment is like messy or cluttered that's really probably taking a huge toll on your mental space um in your mental health so put some effort towards doing doing something about that this week as well and i feel like you'd be pretty happy but um yeah, uh, those are the tarot cards that I have for you, Cancer. If you enjoyed this tarot reading for you, for this weekly general reading for you, Cancer, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Um, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well, Cancer. And then also, I do weekly general tarot readings for all the zodiac signs each week, Cancer. So if you have a friend that is into tarot messages at all, be sure to share my videos with them in case you think they might be into my messages. Uh, but until next time, Cancer, I love you so much.